Let us begin with being very generous towards ourselves. When we say we must be generous towards ourselves, it may sound very odd, but that is what we have to do. Being generous towards ourselves means we must learn to be free from rigidity, uptightness. We must let go of our clinging, clinging to self, clinging to the body. When in meditation, when you are going to gain concentration, there comes a moment when you have you experience fear. Fear because of the breath. Breath becomes so subtle, intangible, almost non-existent. At that time, because of our attachment to self, you experience fear. There's no reason to be afraid of anything. Everything goes smoothly if we let go of that frigid clinging, craving. That's how we become generous towards ourselves. Thought of generosity is one of the three initial thoughts or thoughts that initiates the jhanic process. To gain concentration, to have faith, to have joy, tranquility, happiness and concentration. Some of you may have difficulties in cultivating metta. Please try to overcome those difficulties and have confidence, trust the strength of metta. We are not trying to mystify something we try to demystify it. Demystifying the attainment through the very practical mental conditioning. We condition our mind to gain jhana. Jhanic attainment is one kind of conditioning. We learn to eliminate certain negative states and learn to cultivate a positive state through this conditioning. We all can do that. There's no secret, no hidden anything. Everything is open. But you got to make an effort to gain it. Effort not to fall asleep, effort not to let anger invade the mind, effort not to worry about anything, no fear, no anxiety. We must make an effort to have confidence, faith in us. We all have this potential, this power, the strength of gaining this state of concentration. 
with that strength, with that confidence, stay with metta, and that would relax your body, relax the mind. You will gain confidence, peace, joy, happiness and concentration, one after the other. Very pleasant sensations. It is our tendency to hold on to it. This also is another reason why some meditators discourage the practice of tranquility meditation because tranquility meditation is very peaceful. very blissful, calm, so meditators can cling to it, stay with it, without making further progress. So we have to learn to let go of that. During the course of practice, also from time to time, because of our past experience, encounter with people, there could have been situations where things happen to anger ourselves. And that can linger in our mind and come to the surface when we try to calm the mind. So with the practice of metta, we can let go of that resentment, disappointment, grudge. That is also absolutely necessary in order to go forward in the practice. Thought of cruelty, hurting others, harming others in thoughts, words and deeds also is deeply rooted mental tendency that we have to overcome in order to proceed with the practice. Situation. We must make a deep, firm commitment to stay out of greed, hatred and cruelty. Make the mind soft and gentle. To make the body soft, gentle and relaxed and without any hitch, without any stumbling block or bump, we can move on the practice. When the mind is ready, these three thoughts become a strong force to initiate the practice or process. From that point onward, attaining jhana is easy. We don't have to wish to attain anything. All we have to do is to establish ourselves in the in these steps, meaning we keep setting our foot firmly on the first step. When the mind is ready, the next step takes place automatically. When we have friendly thought, 
total generosity and total compassion. When we develop these thoughts, mind gets conditioned and prepared itself to take off in that direction of gaining jhanas. If we try to chase the jhana, we may chase it away, and we have to follow and run very hard to catch it. But if we do not try to chase and stay still, calm, preparing the mind, preparing the preliminary stages, the jhanic states comes to us and it naturally happens to us. That kind of very delicate balance is very important. If we chase, it'll run away. If you do nothing, it won't come to us. So with that attitude, with the thought of generosity, friendliness and compassion, we stay still, quiet, calm and peaceful, then the rest will follow. And therefore keep feeling or keep bringing the feeling of loving, friendliness, compassion and generosity, letting go of greed. Don't become rigid, uptight, tensed up, Always relax, always relax, always feel friendly. When we relax, friendliness grows intensi in intensity. When we relax, generosity grows. When we relax, compassion grows. When these three thoughts become strong, work together in unison as one unit, the mind becomes ready to start the next step. And always calm the body, calm the mind. Relax your postures, relax your body, and very alert, become alert against the mara enemy of this practice that is sleepiness. When everything goes very smoothly, peacefully, that is the opportunity that sleepiness is waiting for to invade the mind. You've got to be very watchful and alert not to let sleepiness overwhelm you, overpower you. Energize your mind at that time and continue to relax. <coughs> 